Hey, what's going on nation and welcome to my next 12 week transformation challenge home edition. Now, if you haven't signed up for the challenge yet, click the link down in the info section below. And as soon as you do, you'll be able to enter your email and then you'll receive all the information you need to participate in this challenge. Now, as always, these challenges are worldwide so anyone can do them. All you need for these workouts is a pair of dumbbells. Now, the routine we're going to be doing today is upper body one and it's a 20 minute interval style workout where we're going to be doing 30 seconds of as many reps as possible per exercise and then only taking a 30 second rest in between those exercises until we complete the entire 20 minutes. Now don't worry if you don't have a timer because I'm going to be doing these workouts with you guys in real time. That means I'll be pushing you along the entire way and there'll be a timer in the top right hand corner so you know exactly how much time is left for each exercise and each rest period. So what that means is we're gonna sweat together, we're gonna scream in agonizing pain together, but we're also gonna build some muscle and get shredded together as well. So let's take a quick look at the routine and get started. All right guys, we're gonna start workout one right now. Make sure you have a jug of water next to you and don't worry about the timer. I'm gonna have my timer live on the screen so you can keep up with me. And remember, you're doing as many reps as possible in the 30 seconds we're doing the work. So if you can't do as many as me, that's fine. If you can do more, all the power to you and get those gains. All right, let's get this countdown going. Make sure you get your dumbbells ready. Once it starts, it don't stop. So we're gonna start off with an in-out push-up. So, on the ground. And all you're doing is you're gonna put the dumbbells down on the ground as placeholders to get your hands inside and outside. Little mobility work going on here. Working through the stabilizers in your shoulders. And obviously we're hitting that chest pretty hard. And because when we go inside, our hands are kind of close together, we're hitting a bit more triceps as well. Now, if at any point in time you guys get tired during that movement, you can drop to your knees and do your push-ups like this. Just make sure you're always moving those hands inside and outside. All right, we got 18 seconds left of rest. The next exercise is gonna be a renegade row. So you're gonna bend over and you're gonna pump your arms as fast as you can like this. Really working your back. And get ready. Four, three, two, one, go. Now the point of this, guys, is to go at a steady pace and maintain that pace for the entire 30 seconds. And you might think those dumbbells are light right now, but you're not gonna be thinking that by the time we get to round three and gonna do this again. Make sure you're really rotating your upper body and you're feeling those lats as you renegade row. And relax. Grab water if you need it. The next exercise is a laying T extension, okay? So you're gonna hold your dumbbells in your hand, you're gonna keep your chest up, and you're gonna extend out to the side, and then come back in like this, all right? Get those dumbbells ready. Could be hitting a lot of rear deltoids, upper traps, upper back. And it's gonna be fun. So get started. Chest up, two, one. Extend, come back in. Extend, come back in. This is a lot hotter than it looks. Cause you gotta keep your chest up the entire time while you do this. If at any point in time, you can't do any more reps with the dumbbells, just drop the dumbbells and do it with just your hands. In and out, guys. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, now we're going to overhead tricep extension. For this exercise, you're gonna put both dumbbells in your hands like this, okay? And you're gonna push your hands into each other as you do the extension. Make sure you go all the way down and all the way up with every single repetition. 
Get ready. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, all the way up. Remember, this is as many reps as possible, guys. So go as fast as you can. And even if you have extra pairs of dumbbells and you want to use heavier weights on different exercises, that's okay too. You don't have to stick with the same dumbbells on every exercise. So if you have lighter dumbbells or heavier dumbbells, just have them next to you while you do the exercises. Good. All right, 30 second rest. Next exercise is gonna be an alternating shoulder press. When you do this, guys, you wanna have a nice flow. So you're gonna go up, and as you come down, bring the other hand up. And you're gonna rotate back and forth like this as fast as you can with good form. Grab those dumbbells. Get ready for three, two, one, and go. Keep a nice steady breathing going. That's usually what helps me fight through the pain. Nice steady breath. Keep going, halfway there. Halfway there, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we're gonna move on to the second set of exercises. First one's gonna be an alternating curl. For this movement, guys, palms stay forward the whole time. Do not start with your palms facing in. We wanna hit those biceps as hard as possible. Palms out, alternating your curls. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. All the way up, all the way down. You can go a little faster actually with this one. Just keep those elbows in front of your hips on every single repetition. You don't want to have your elbows go behind you. That's going to make the exercise less intense. Keep going. Nice steady pace. Flex those arms. Eight seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Good. Relax. Now this is where it's going to it's going to get a little difficult. Get a lateral raise. I suggest for you, for most of you, you should be able to do this, but if your shoulders are fatigued, grab a lighter pair of dumbbells. If you don't have a lighter pair of dumbbells, literally just use your body weight and come up and down for the entire 30 seconds. So let's get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and control, guys. Nice and control. We're going to get ripped. We're going to build some muscle. And we're going to do it all in 20 minutes. Oh, man. Only halfway there. Keep going. Shoulders should be on fire right now. Go. Come on, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Woo! Look at this pump. Look at that shoulder pump going on right now. Next exercise is gonna be a bent over row, but when you do this, we're not doing it this way. We're doing palms facing forward. Palms facing forward is gonna give us a bit more lat activation, okay? We're gonna make sure we're hitting that, that back as hot as we can. And for this one, both hands at the same time, bent over like this, and pulling up. Just like this, guys. All the way down, all the way up. Really try to challenge yourself. If you have a heavier pair of dumbbells around, this is a good opportunity to increase the weight. Keep going. 10 seconds. All the way down, all the way up. Keep going. And relax. Now we're gonna go on the floor and we're gonna do a laying chest fly. Now with this exercise, you're gonna make sure you keep a slight bend in your elbows and as you go down, try to arch your back a bit, get, keep those shoulder blades attracted and really feel that chest stretch and then contract on the way back up. 
So let's get down on the ground. Four, three, two, one, and go. All the way down, stretch the chest, all the way up. All the way down, stretch the chest, all the way up. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. Keep going. Squeeze that chest at the top. Nice slow on the way down, nice and slow. Contract that chest on the way up. Really feel it extend. Good. 30 second rest. Last exercise for round two is gonna be an upright row. Now, for this movement, I don't want your hands really close. Keep them about shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width and bring them up as high as you can and always try to keep your elbow above your wrist. All right, let's see it. Three, two, one. Just like this, guys. All the way up, all the way down. You should feel those traps lighting up right about now. Shoulders are probably fatigued. But that's okay, that's what you want. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. That completes round two. We're halfway done, we got two rounds left. So we're gonna get back on the floor and do the in-out push-ups. Remember, place the dumbbells on the ground so they're just about shoulder width. And if you get tired, guys, go to your knees and complete all your repetitions. All right, let's get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All the way down, outside, all the way down. And try and go as fast as you can, guys. All the way down, all the way up. Keep going. Maintain that pace. Don't stop. All the way down, chest to floor, and relax. Whoo! Next up, Renegade Row again, guys. This is a good opportunity. If you have heavier dumbbells, grab them now. If you need water, make sure you take that water break. You guys know me, I usually don't go for the water. <laughs> I wait till the end. Wait until the torch is done. Five, four, three, two, one. And Renegade Row. Nice steady pace, guys. All the way down, all the way up. Rotate those arms. Twist your back a bit as you go up and down. Keep going. Push, push. Keep rowing. Don't stop. Oh, now you can stop. 30 seconds is up. All right, now we're back to the laying T extension. Down on the ground, dumbbells by your side. Grab some water if you need it. Still got 15 seconds left. Make sure you're staying loose. Make sure you're breathing. All right, guys, down on your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, these are tough. guys. You should be feeling pretty pumped in the upper body right now, especially if you're challenging yourself. All right, now onto that overhead tricep extension. 
Eight seconds. Push those dumbbells into each other as hard as you can throughout the whole movement. All the way down, all the way up. Come on guys, all the way down, all the way up. Full extension at the top. 13, 12, 11, keep going. Push it, push through the pain. Push through the burning. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Alternating shoulder press next, guys. This one, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna be rough. So make sure you use dumbbells you can handle, because I know you're probably feeling fatigued right now. But at the same time, make sure you're always pushing yourselves too. 10 seconds. Grab water if you need it. Four, three, two, one, and go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Alternate those abs. Don't quit. 15 seconds. Guys, last round. This is where you empty that tank. <sighs> Alternating curl. Let's kick up the notch. Let's kick up a notch, guys. Let's increase the speed, keep proper form, and if you've got them, maybe increase those dumbbells. <sighs> 10 seconds, guys. Ready? <sighs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. This exercise, it always starts out feeling kind of easy for the first seven to 10 seconds. Then you quickly realize how exhausting it is. <sighs> Keep those elbows in front of your hips, guys. Come on, push through. Keep your hands facing forward the entire time. Come on, three, two, one. Woo! <sighs> All right, take a rest. Put those dumbbells down. Put them on the ground right now. Lateral raises are next. So you wanna have nothing in your hands right now. Remember, if you get tired, even if you have dumbbells in your hand and you can't do any more, throw them on the ground and keep going with just your body weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on! Push! 15 seconds left, halfway there! Come on! 10 seconds! Don't quit! Last round, don't quit! 3, 2, 1! Awesome job, guys! Three exercises left. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going strong, guys. Whew. Bent over rows. Again, palms facing forward. Focus on those lats. And if you have heavier dumbbells, grab them. Whew. Whew. 10 seconds. Grab water if you need it. All right, pick up those dumbbells. Get into position. Three, two, one. Nice. Now guys, remember when you do this exercise, try to keep your upper body as parallel to the ground as possible. That's going to give you more of an extension and a contraction on every repetition. Keep the bouncing to a minimum. Try to pretend like you're pulling with your elbows. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Lying chest fly. For most of you, you're thinking, finally, I can lay down before I gotta kill these shoulders with upright rows. That's how I feel like too. But, increase those dumbbells if you can. 13 seconds, guys. 
10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Keep going. Nice, slow on the way down. Contract that chest really hot on the way up. It's all about the contraction and the slow negative, guys. Feel that chest. Make sure your back is arched. Make sure you're retracting your shoulder blades. Three seconds. All right. Last movement, guys. Last exercise. Upright row. Empty the tank, leave nothing left. I know you're hurting, those shoulders are probably fried right now, but that's okay. 30 seconds of pain and you're done. Here we go, seven, six, grab those dumbbells. Three, two, one. Make sure you go all the way down, then all the way up. Keep those elbows above your wrists. Keep that chest up. Come on, push. Halfway there. Push through, push through. Keep it going. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Woo! And you're done. All right, guys, that wraps up upper body one. The next workout is going to be lower body one, and you'll be able to find that on muscularstrength.com. So make sure you go in the info section below and click the link to view the workouts. And once you get there, you'll also be able to download the PDF for this workout, the Excel spreadsheet with all the exercises, and you'll also be able to download the full 12 week calendar. Hope you guys enjoyed the routine. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.